actually not going to steal it because I'm not a crackhead and this is my truck. So that would be stupid. But let's head back to the garage and let's test the cat strap. Okay, so here we are. Uh, I actually purchased this catalytic converter off of eBay. It's supposed to be off of a 98 Honda Civic or something like that, but I thought it would be easier to show here than uh, under a car. So we're going to go ahead and try the cat strap. Uh, this is the cat strap here. I purchased this online for $150. I'll put links uh, in the description if you want to check it out. So basically all it is is it's a a long rope-like structure that has uh, these cables inside of it, uh, stainless steel cables that are supposed to prevent you from being able to cut it. Uh, the cables inside just uh, move back and forth and don't allow you to cut through it. So we're actually going to test that. Um, I watched a video recently from Donut Media. Uh, shout out to those guys. Love that channel, by the way. Uh, where they tested a bunch of different products uh, for catalytic converter theft. And they tested this uh, cat strap, but I felt like they missed an important piece of it and that is that they didn't allow it to adhere to the actual pipe. So on the underside of this, there's some black material. Um, I think it might even be duct tape, but allows it to melt onto the actual pipe and they didn't do that. So I wanted to give it a try. Let's go ahead and jump into it. So I've gone ahead and attached the clamps. They recommended putting one on either end of the converters with the channel U clamp that they uh, give you and then one on each end. And on this end, I could have gone around this corner, but I'm just doing this for demonstration purposes. So I ended it here. So after you do that, you're going to want to put on these wire clamps. So I've added every single wire uh, clamp that they've given me. Uh, now we'll go ahead and we'll heat it up with my heat gun and we'll make sure that it adheres uh, nice to the actual pipe and then we'll try and cut it. Okay, so I finished heating it up. Now obviously you won't have to heat it up because it'll be attached to your actual vehicle and then when you use it, it'll just get so hot that it'll adhere naturally. So uh, the heat gun was just a supplement to try and uh, get it to adhere now and it looks like it has made a good adhesion. So I'm gonna let it cool off for a minute and then I'll go ahead and try and cut it. I think I'm gonna try and do it right here. Uh, I've got the best adhesion right here. Uh, just to test it out. So first thing I'm just going to put it right on the cat strap and push as hard as I can to see if I can actually cut through it. <laughs> okay, let's take two. Just stop and take a look here. Let's just see what kind of damage is done here. So I was actually able to cut through it fairly quickly, these actual cables here. 
Looks like this one isn't cut all the way, but it's pretty close. But I'm thinking maybe because these clamps are so close together that it didn't have uh, the ability to shake and move in there. Uh, but you can, I don't know if you can see this, but there's actually a metal plate uh, in here as well. So that's actually gonna take probably more effort to cut through than these actual cables. So I'm gonna go ahead and try and do that and see what it, it'll take. Okay, so you probably can't see it very well, but I'm starting to chew through this metal plate that's under here. I'm gonna see if I can get all the way through it. Cables were really easy to get through. It's just this metal piece here. I think I'm close. Give her another go and she should come off. Okay. So that went pretty quick. After I got that new blade on there. So I don't know if you can see that, but there's this metal plate here that I've cut through. Uh, it was really easy to cut through the cables in no time at all. That metal plate took a little more time. All right, so there you have it, folks. I was uh, very surprised that I cut through the cables uh, pretty quickly. Um, you know, in their video, they show that that's really hard to cut through. That didn't take that long. It was this metal plate in here that took the most amount of time. So uh, all things considered, um, I do think it is a good solution. You know, if a thief was to come under your car and see this, they might think, oh man, this is just, this is gonna be a headache. I don't wanna deal with this and move on. Um, and uh, if they do try to attempt it, they're gonna have to, to work at it to get at it. So uh, for 150 bucks, you know, it, it's worth a try. Uh, definitely a good solution. I think the best solution is to get a cat shield. Uh, however, those are a little more spendy and the install might be a little more um, intense. So all things considered, install protection, I think it's there for 150 bucks. So I'm pretty, uh, pretty impressed. If I'm not being paid with cat strap at all, this was all done with my money. I'm not sponsored by them. I just wanted to do an honest review and uh, see what it was like. So there you have it, folks. Thanks for joining me. Hopefully this video was informational and useful to you. Drop me a like and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next video.